Hey, everybody, I'm Nick Latum. And I'm Leah Bonima. And we're the hosts of Were You Raised by Wolves? Each week, we try to make the world a kinder, nicer place. Well, that's the idea, at least. I mean, we try. Have you ever wondered what to do if you're ghosted? Or what to do when a friend asks you to borrow money? Or the proper way to eat Cheetos? You know, the big questions. So please find Were You Raised by Wolves wherever you listen. You're listening to Heritage Radio Network. Okay. Hi, I'm Sophia. Hey, folks. My name is Madison. Hi, I'm Danielle. And you're listening to Behind the Internship from HRN. I'm your host, Taylor Early. You just heard Sophia Hooper, Daniel Flitter, and Addison Austin Liu. They're part of HRN's Research and Radio Internship Program, and they'll be letting you in on what it's like to report, write, and edit stories for Meet and Three, our flagship show. For the last 15 years, HRN has been talking about food. Our shows focus on just a fraction of the ways we interact with food through cheese, chefs, and restaurants, and culture, beer, wine, and spirits, food policy, home cooking, entrepreneurship, regional food. We talk about food from so many angles because food is constantly evolving and every single person on earth has a relationship with it. Exploring these different relationships with food uncovers influences that impact more than just what we eat. It gives us insight into the forces shaping how we live, work, and connect with each other. This exploration lays the foundation for our mission at HRN to create a more equitable and sustainable world by shifting the way we think and talk about food. As we work to bring many different voices to the forefront of conversations about food, we're also teaching and equipping new food storytellers with the skills to build off of our mission in their worlds. So... I have been at HRN since late 2022, where I started my six-month-long Julia Child Foundation Writing Fellowship. As the fellow, I produced The Build, which is opening soon's newest season. And then after I finished, I transitioned to become HRN's Education Programs Coordinator in 2023. Educational programs like the Julia Child Foundation Fellowship, HRN Radio Scholars, and our Research and Radio Internship have been a cornerstone of HRN for almost a decade. One of the first things I undertook in my new role was the challenge of redesigning and revamping our education offerings, including the long-standing internship. You'll hear some reflections from me that I recorded during that process on this show. HRN's Research and Radio Internship is a remote educational program that unfolds over six months. Interns learn hands-on radio and podcast production skills, hone their storytelling chops, and get an immersive, real-time experience in food media by producing our flagship show, Meet and Three. Meet and Three. Meet and Three. Meet and Three. One meet, three sides. Food, news, and storytelling. A square meal for your ears. Meet and Three. Hi, I'm H. Conley. I'm a journalist, producer, and audio engineer. H. is also working on the Research and Radio Internship Program with me. We co-teach journalism and storytelling skills to the interns. H. is also producing an engineering Meet and 3 with me as well. And you might also hear them host. And so Meet and 3 is HRN's flagship food news roundup podcast where you're going to get food stories from like personal narrative to how climate change is affecting agriculture to trends in restaurant culture to everything you can think of that falls under the umbrella of food and drink and farming. There are eight interns in our spring 2024 research and radio internship cohort. Sophia Hooper, Daniel Flitter, and Addison Austin Liu are three of those interns. They volunteer to bring you behind the scenes as they work through the program. Every intern comes to the table with different motivations and experiences with food, from years working in the hospitality industry to just beginning to explore a future in the food world. Sophia's background is in political science and international affairs. She applied to the internship to force herself to chase a passion. Hi, 
I'm Sophia. I'm one of the interns that you'll be following along with over the next little while as I show you um, the trials and tribulations of learning how to be an audio producer, which is the thing I'm trying to do. Why? I really like radio is why. I think it's like one of the coolest jobs in the world to go produce stories this way, but I've always been too scared to do it myself, but that stops now. <laughs> when I applied, I was so excited about it that like before I'd even gotten it, like when people would ask me what, what was up, I would say that I was applying to this because I was so jazzed about it and so fearful that I wasn't gonna get it and was going to have to report back to all these people um, that it was not in fact something I was about to do. So we can all be grateful that I was saved that humiliation. Addison is a chef and applied to the program because she was looking for a change. My name is Addison. I am based out of Salt Lake City, Utah. And I am crazy excited <laughs> to be here. I have been aware of and listening to HRN programs for years. <laughs> and when I found out that they had an internship, I applied immediately. I was really attracted to HRN and what they stand for because I was needing a pivot point in my career. I've been in the service industry behind a sushi bar for the last almost eight years now. I love the craft of it, but was starting to get a little uncomfortable with the sustainability and ethics of what I was doing and uh, was really looking for a way to pivot my career and give back and do research and write and be able to talk about food and read about food and learn about food every day. <laughs> and when I got the email that I had been accepted, I flipped out <laughs> and pretty much called and texted everybody that I know. Danielle is also a chef and comes to the internship full of curiosity. I'm Danielle. I am a plant-based chef from Philadelphia, currently based in Mexico City. I'm super excited. A little nervous, but super excited. I have so many stories to tell. I have so many curiosities when it comes to food, food history, food culture, food traditions, and I've been building them up for years and years. Last year, I came across Heritage Radio Network. In December, when I saw the listing for the internship program, I got super excited because they said that they were gonna teach us audio storytelling and podcast production. And I was like, look at that. The angels of HRN have come to answer my prayers. Some interns come into the program having produced their own podcasts, and others have never even picked up a microphone or cut a piece of audio. This mix means that everyone faces different challenges and has different strengths, but they all share the same goal, to bring you great stories about food. Ahead of starting their training period, they shared how they were feeling. Danielle is ready to dive right in. I'm really excited to organize these ideas, tell stories on the one thing that binds us all, food. The secondary thing that binds us all, community. And I think that this will be a really beautiful platform for me to learn and a beautiful platform for me to share. Addison and Sophia are also excited, but maybe a little more anxious than Danielle. I think it's going to be a big challenge for me. I don't, don't really enjoy the thought of my voice being in people's ears as much as I think it will be so cool. Yeah, I'm just forcing myself to put myself out there and chase a passion that I've not been too, just like too embarrassed to like be perceived doing. <laughs> but here we are. Um, I also just have always liked food. Um, I've loved working in restaurants. I've hated working in restaurants. Those who work in restaurants get it. Food has a lot of meaning for me and for everyone. And I think that's so cool. And I want to talk about it. By the end of this internship, I really hope to just know that I can make a story, um, that I can turn some vague concept into a few minutes of audio that like is worth the time that it spends in people's ears, that sounds professional, um, and that sounds like me. But I think it's going to be fun. I think it's going to be really, really fun. While Sophia wrestles with a passion for food and the unbearable notion of being perceived, same girl, <laughs> Addison is thinking about the potential upcoming technical challenges. I am a little overwhelmed, but full of a lot of joy that I have this opportunity over the next six months. I think I'm kind of the most squirrely about the audio engineering part of it. I'm sure I'll pick it up. I have more experience in the writing, journalism, 
side. Uh, and so in terms of the logistics of engineering, that is definitely going to be my learning curve. I am an obsessive researcher, so I've already started to dig into like manuals and talking to friends who have their own podcasts and no audio engineering. And I am excited, anxious <laughs> uh, in really good ways. As all three interns process their excitement and their worries, the opening phase of the internship is set up to help them navigate all of these feelings. Part of the work in revamping this internship program included introducing a few things that hadn't been done in previous years. Interns used to be fully immersed in podcast production from day one. Based on feedback from our intern alumni, I decided to squish all of the training into a focused sprint just a period at the very beginning before they had the added pressure of deadlines and production timelines, which we introduced this year in 2024. Slowing down our onboarding for the interns, not just jumping right into production, but instead making a space for interns to learn together before we then are thrust into production. Selecting stories, pitching themes, putting episodes together, having to actually execute the skills that they're just now picking up. I felt it was really important to separate the two and give the interns the opportunity to get to know each other and to get to know themselves as they go through this fully remote process. Stay tuned for the next episode of Behind the Internship as the 2024 research and radio interns begin their training sprint. They'll learn a lot from abstract concepts like how to turn an idea into a story to the hands-on technical side, like how to edit audio in a digital audio workspace or DAW. You can follow along every step of the way by subscribing to Meet in 3 wherever you listen to podcasts, where you'll hear both the tales behind the internship and the stories that emerge from it. Behind the Internship is produced by Rachel Marco, engineered by Armin Spengen, and hosted by me, Taylor Early. I want to tell you about a new podcast called Amuse News. Publishing multiple days a week, Amuse News is your source for food news, interviews from around the food world, and more. On the show, we'll be engaging with food storytellers, from chefs to advocates, to people working in the field, and many more. Find Amuse News wherever you get your podcasts. Amuse News is a destination for everyone who's looking for a new, insightful look into the world of food.